Hey, this is Mr. Coker with Geometry Lesson 2-3, Vertical and Transversal Angles. So, I want to start by talking about four definitions. And these are the ones I have written on, on the whiteboard. The first one are vertical angles. So, when we have two intersecting lines, as you see uh, these two black lines, they're intersecting, meaning they cross each other. The opposite angles are vertical angles. So these two would be vertical angles, and then these two are, ver are also vertical angles. Vertical angles are always congruent with each other, meaning that they have the same measurement. A transversal means that we have two parallel lines. A parallel line, two parallel lines mean two lines that could go on forever in either direction and never cross, never touch each other. We have two parallel lines and we have a third line intersecting both of them at an angle. So we have a third line intersecting them at an angle. Third, we have supplementary in the two biggest words, one I already gave a definition of. Supplementary angles are two angles that add to 180 degrees so in this example, the two uh, angles I marked are supplementary. They add to 180 degrees. And then congruent means the same measurement. We'll use that word a lot in geometry. In this case, we're just talking about angle measurements. So these are the two main things that we're using as far as uh, what we're solving for, or what we're, th what we're using to solve. So, I'm going to get to the examples. I can do it in the red so it shows up good. So I'm going to start by doing an example. Let's say that this is 110 degrees and this, let's call it x plus 10. Now if you look at that you can probably tell well, this is going to be just a simple solving an equation. And it is. It's very simple. As long as we know, as we correctly set up the equation, it will be easy. So let's look at it. So 110 degrees, x plus 10. I'm going to, to solve this. I'm, I'll put it over here. I'm going to put 110 plus x plus 10. Now, Remember, these, if you look at this, hopefully you can recognize it's a sup, they're supplementary angles. It looks just like our example. So they add to 180. Now it's an easy problem, an easy, uh, really two-step equation. And by like terms, we'll have x plus 120 equals 180. And now subtract 120 on each side. And we'll have x is set equal to 60. Well, that's pretty easy, or it should be easy. Um, we take our supplementary angles set them, add them together, set them equal to 180. Now let's try another example. This time I'll put it in blue. Let's assume that we have, again, 110 degrees. So again, we have 110 degrees. And then the other, and then now let's do a vertical angle. Remember, vertical angles are congruent. So I'm going to call that, let's say, let's, uh, let's call it x plus 50. So now we're going to do this problem, and I'll do it on the other side. So remember, this time they are not supplementary, now they are congruent. They're vertical angles and therefore congruent. So if they're congruent, do we set them equal to 180? No. We set them equal to 
each other. So I'm going to do x 110 equals x plus 50. Well, this one's even easier. It's a one-step equation. No lot terms. We have plus 50, so we subtract 50 on each side. One ten minus fifty is sixty, and that's it. So, in our example, now I made x equal sixty in each one. And I wouldn't have had to really. I just wanted to be consistent. But if you look, these two, you just add them together, set them equal to one hundred eighty. We have a simple equation. And then, because they are supplementary. Now, these two angles, they are congruent. So we set them equal to each other. And again, it's a simple equation. So, that is all I'm going to go into when it comes to vertical and transversal angles. So we're mostly in our class going to focus on solving these. So solving them should be very easy. I'm repeating myself, but remember, you either they're either supplementary angles, which you add together and set equal to 180, or they are congruent angles where you set them equal to each other. If you do that, solving these is a breeze. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.